Today we're gonna put twin tail versus curly tail versus paddle tail. This is up next. Holy macaroni, look at that. Oh, wow. oh, 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 I got one. Oh, fish on. You've been doing it wrong all day. We have, I don't know what I'm doing wrong today. Just believe in yourself. Oh, 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 oh my God, oh my God. Another nice one, another nice one. Spring is finally here. We have no lockdown in Sweden and we are out to do some pike fishing. Super excited. Super yeah. excited. Yeah. So it's uh, me, Sarah and our friend Tobias Fransdam from Abu Garcia. So much fun to be out on water again together. Yeah. We did a uh, perch fishing with creature bait uh, thing not too long ago. Yeah. Then we had some rough conditions. Not like this. <laughs> no, <laughs> not no. like we're having today. <laughs> we're having the extremes, Pontus. Like yeah. Super snowy and the low pressure, and today it's like high pressure and very nice spring weather. Yeah. And uh, Sarah, what are we doing? The yeah. Challenge. Today we are putting up with the new Beast series from Abu Garcia, and we have some different kind of really cool baits coming up here. Yeah. So we're gonna do curly tail, which is this one, versus paddle, paddle tail. tail versus twin tail. So three completely different lures, different movement, different characteristics. Yeah. Yeah. And we're gonna see what we'll catch the biggest pike on, numbers, if there will be any difference, etc. etc. Yeah, I've been eager to try this twin tail out. So I wanna yeah. start with this one. Yeah, can I start with this one? Yeah. yeah sure. Okay, cool. And to be honest, what, what would you say? It's really early spring. We have how many degrees in water? Like one or two? Yeah, like in this very shallow bay, maybe it's just one or two degrees. It's uh, very thin ice on the water right now. Mm. But uh, this is the time of the year when the water is warming rapidly and pikes move in to spawn. Uh, and it's still March, so they haven't really begun to spawn yet. But uh, I think there's a lot of pike here, Yeah. but uh, they are very hard to catch. So which, which one of these uh, types would you normally start with? I think Preferably. I would start with a paddle, but uh, I'm a paddle guy. I like <laughs> I like wow. fishing paddle tails. Then I think we have this perfectly lined up. You start yeah. with that. I'm a curly tail guy in, yeah. in cold water, yeah. so I'm gonna I I will gladly start with this. And I am dying to trying this out. Yeah, I'm normally a paddle tail guy, yeah. but in these super cold conditions, I have a preference for for these curly tails because you can fish them so slow. But I mean, today we're gonna find out if there's just in my head or if it's actually a thing with curly tails, for example. And what do you guys think? Comment below which one do you think will do best today? Yeah, so we'll do normal challenge rules. We'll uh, start with this, then we will uh, switch after one hour to take out the angler effect. So um, yeah, let's put one hour on the timer and start fishing. Cool, let's cool. do it. Boom, let's boom, go. boom, boom, boom. Boom! All right, timer has started. One hour from now. So we are allowed to make the first cast? Yes, we are. What are you starting with, Sarah? I'm starting with this twin tail. I think this is the lure today. Super cool. I'm doing this uh, curly tail beast jig. And actually I have a new reel for this season. A Daiwa Tatula 200. Super nice and neat little reel. I haven't really tried it, so I can't say too much about it yet. I'm super excited to try. Glasses on. Oh yes. So we're fishing like a river system. We have a river flowing here and it widens out into a big base yeah. within this river. And then like uh, a few hundred meters from here, this river goes into another like big lake. None of us have been to this place before. We have been in the, like in the region, but not in this place. And uh, it looks very exciting if you just watch it on the map. So fishing don't have to be like harder than that you go try places that looks interesting and um, if it's I mean, a, how we all started yeah it, i think this this looks like a very healthy ecosystem like it's a lot of uh, natural shoreline it's good water quality it's a lot of underwater vegetation which pike like so i think it's gonna be a lot of pikes here but of course we have to catch them as anglers so let's do our job yeah and in these times, we are actually very lucky that we're still able to go out fishing because I know that a lot of you guys are not allowed to even leave your homes. So we are very thankful that we still can like go out and have a good day on the water. You shouldn't take that for granted. No. But guys, better times are coming. So stay strong and we hope that we can bring some 
some happiness into your day yeah, today. During this whole crisis, our sole mission in this world is to supply you with fishing videos on YouTube. Yeah. We're not promising daily videos, but we're going to try. Yes. Yeah. With Ruski subtitri, Polski napisy, subtitri Fransa and Deutsche undertitel. Cool, Pontus. That's my line, but I mean, you said it pretty good. Well, it was my line first. I gave it to you. I did it better, I guess. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. No, but I think that this day is for all the fishermen out there that are not allowed to fish. Yeah. This is a tribute to all of you who are not allowed to fish and we hope that you will enjoy We're following catch. us today. We're gonna catch some for you. Yeah. Next pike is for you guys, 100%. Nice! The paddle. Paddle yeah. yeah, the paddle is my favorite. Oh my god. We just changed to the other oh. side and immediately. Yeah. Oh, it's a nice one. First fish on the board. Yeah. Super important pike. Let's see if we can land it as well. Okay, when you're fighting the pike, never give a slack line because then you tend to lose the fish. Have the rod like this in one hand, pull it towards you and just take the pike gently under the gills. There you go! Nice spring pike! Yeah, this was a really, really nice fish and we haven't fished that long. So cool! Yeah. I mean, I mean we're that. still in the first hour. Yeah, we're still in the first hour and uh, none of us have fished this area before, so of course we need to find the spots. And I threw this bait into the reeds and uh, the pike came and attacked very close to a reed stand. So I think they might be hiding in this... Uh, structure this this reed structure behind us nice to be us cool. super beautiful pike yeah maybe. bam bam 100 oh, oh. <laughs> so let's put her back yeah let's yeah. do that and then we'll get another one Whee. awesome nice oh, so this paddle bait did the job as yeah. far cool that, that's one of my favorite colors yeah because uh, it's very natural and it works great both in like clear water conditions but also in more murky water conditions. Yes, that's a great all-round color, a great all-round bait and obviously it works well in this cold water spring fishing as well. Yeah, but now it's time to switch so now one of you guys can try. Yeah. It's been one hour of fishing. Yeah, the, the alarm set off now when oh. we were filming. Ah, cool. Who wants the paddle? I guess I want it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you switch over to Paddle, yep. I switch over to twin tail. Yeah, and I switch over to tail. Yeah. Let's go. Boom. Let's do it. Thinking of maybe one of these. This motor oil thing is nice. The main advantage of a paddle tail in this murky water is the vibrations. I think they make more heavy. Yeah, I think so as well. I think that most pike anglers, they underestimate, underestimate the lateral line of the pike. Yeah. And uh, for you viewers, the lateral line it's a sense that fish have, no mammals have it. And what the fish can do is that they can actually feel what's moving around them. And that's the reason why you can catch fish overall. I mean, in dark conditions, in super murky water, the visual sight down here is not no, enough not for close. hunting. No, it's not good. They would die down here if they wouldn't have the lateral line. Yeah, probably. Those curly tails make a lot of vibrations too. After all, the roach is just swimming like a straight stick and the pike can still feel that. I mean, that's what they're meant to find. And these guys, you know, with these tails make a lot of vibrations too, but the paddle tails are making like heavier vibrations. So changing over to this twin tail, motor oil something kind of color. I'm fishing it with a 10 gram jig head because we have, we changed over to a little bit deeper part of this uh, river system where we have around two meters here right outside the, the weed and I think this is where those pike are standing hey fish on Ooh. oh no <laughs> no way bream all right we get bait yep I thought it was weeds I started like cranking it off Sorry, little bream. Not what we came for. Uh, there you go. So now we're entering this part of the this river system where it widens out. It's uh, shallow, like all over the place. We have weed all over the place, and this is like the place we had in mind when we went here. But this twin tail feels really good. I'm actually a little bit so, jealous about that. Oh yeah. That you have clouds. I need to look at that. Yeah. 
With those double tails, it gets a really, really big profile and really lots of vibrations, even though it's still not that much bigger than a normal curly tail version, for example. But it just gets bulkier and bigger. The McPike that you've seen us use before was designed by Klaus Klausom, Svartsonker. But this one is designed by another skilled Swedish lure builder, Fredrik Rens. Really crazy guy from south in Sweden. If you want to check out the video where I went filming with him in the past, you can check out this one together with the Svartsonker. And those lures look sweet. Eftalate free and everything. Everything you want in the soft bait. So we're entering the third hour. So thank you. Now it's my turn to go for the curly. Yep. Super excited about I'm doing that blue white. This one in this water, it's, I'm gonna crush it, man. You are gonna crush it. I'm gonna continue with the same color that I used. This uh, red and black. I think it's looking good. It's working well in this murky water. Oh, I got one. Oh. Fish on! Yeah. On that uh, double double twin yeah. tail. Nice one. Nice. Uh, no, it's not not the first, but oh, oh. came off. Yeah. yeah but, well. but but it's okay. Let's count that. Uh, yeah. I mean, we could land it. Let's get another one. That that was a small male. I saw it. Call me on there. You got it. Slack take. <laughs> Are you on the paddle, Pontus? I'm on the paddle. You're yeah. on the paddle. Fish is super slowly. I uh, just felt that paddle do it work its magic and then I just felt oh, nothing. Man. This cool. one came from behind and smashed it really hard. <laughs> nice, Pontus. So much fun. And you got that one. It was very close to the reeds, wasn't it? Yeah. It's All the way in. Oh, oh crap. No. I was gonna give you the camera star so you could film me. Oh, sorry, man. Two on the paddle. <laughs> yeah. Shouldn't mess around with the camera. In the middle of a fight, but yeah, but you know, it's always like that in this profession. Yeah, you know, we want to record stuff to let Audience you guys. We do this. We do this for you guys. I think this is quite interesting, actually. The the score so far. I thought. I mean, like I said in the beginning, I normally prefer curly tails in uh, cold water like this. But on the other other hand, in murky waters like this, I yeah. would probably go for a paddle tail. Yeah. And if I would choose on second place after that, I would choose the twin tail, clearly. And now I have two two pike on paddle, one pike on, on twin tail and zero on curly. So we'll see if we keep this uh, ratio between the pike. And uh, oh, I got oh, one. Oh, oh. Good job, to be us. Keep yeah. casting, Sarah. We found them. So much fun. Another small male. On the twin tail. Yeah. Two two. Goodbye, Mr. Pike. Well done, to be out. Let's get another one. One thing that's very, very special with this. Oh, I got one. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to tell you how to work this bait. Oh. It, it's a it's a small male as well. I think uh, the twin tail is taking the lead, Pontus. Yeah. Oh my god. Three, man. two. Yeah. And you were just gonna explain why you like this one on shallow water. Yeah. One thing that I've noticed with this bait is that these two tails on the back, they act like parachutes. So even since uh, I, I use this lead head, when I stop retrieving this bait, it won't immediately drop. It just stops like in the water. It down. Yeah, like it, it feels like it hovers for a second and then it drops down like but it drops down with ease yeah not like with, with a curly tail it starts like swimming down rapid, immediately yeah. and this fish and the other ones i've caught them when i made it just a lightly tap with the rod i stopped the bait for a second over a little bit yeah easy. and then the strike cool. have come very so. cool cool so much fun goodbye mr pike cool Catch one now, Sarah. I will. You're building up for something it. epic here, I think. I'm gonna take the big one. Yeah. <laughs> Fish on! Really hard take. I changed to red and white. Yeah, I'm on paddle. You changed the color. Three, three. Still not a single fish on curly. Yeah, I decided to try to downsize, so I went with this, uh, I don't know exactly how many centimeters, but I guess it's like uh, 16 maybe. And bam! bam a little pike man. here. Number three for paddle tail lures. I wonder why they aren't taking the curly tail. Yeah, 
my first pike on this new Daiwa reel, the Tatula. Very, very nice. It's uh, small, but still very solid. So feels like a good reel. Awesome. Super fun. I want that one too. Yeah, pike number, I think it's my pike number four this year so far. Way to go, man. Bam. Thanks. Well deserved. Very fun. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, nice one. Nice. Better one. fish, better fish. Oh, you know, I put on a shallow screw just to slow down the presentation. Uh, uh, not, 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 not too that, big. that big, but uh, it was a nice fish. It was a very hard take. Nice of us. Yeah. Beautiful uh, pike. I think a lot of the time when you go really slow with the bait, that's when the strikes become really hard. So I just reeled it in really slowly. So the tails were just, you know, we're just dancing. Rippling and slowly. Yeah, very slowly. And that pike, it was probably, you know, following it, following it. And then when I made a, like, the slightest toss, it just grabbed the bait and it was, it was a very nice strike. Yeah. Super cool. But and that gives the lead to Twin Tail, right? Yeah, what do you have? 4-3. 4-3. Four, three. Four, four, three. Three. Crazy. That's crazy. And now it's time to change. Yeah. So I'm back at Curly. Yeah. You're back at Pavel. Yeah. And you're back at Twin Tail. So we're back to how we started. Yeah. Okay, Let's cool. Let's awesome. go. Okay, curly time. Ole Doldoff, Kinke Lanekoff, Koffe Lane, Binke Bane, Ole Doldoff. Ett av hjärtan, piff, pass, puff, du som får en heders knuff av piff och puff. We're going with this one. That's how we do in Sweden when we can't decide. We cannot decide, yes. that's how we do it. Then we do Ole Doldoff. Going back to this... Uh, Fire Tiger Curl Tail, which I started this morning with. I need a pike on this. This uh, tail version, since it has the tail like kind of upside down, turning downwards, it runs a little bit deeper than if you would fish it with the tail up. Yeah. I guess you might be able to do that with this one as well, if it gets too shallow. Yeah, of course. You have to flip it upside down. I'm gonna freaking do that and try. What happens if you fish a Beast Curly Jig upside down? We're gonna know in a few seconds. Look at this. Scientist Holy macaroni! Look at that! That's uh, <laughs> Did you see that? Swimming action, boys and girls? That's what I'm gonna do now. Everything is allowed in this challenge. Is this how we're gonna get the first pike on Curly? Make it happen. I think so. Yeah. That's a pro. But not as pro as this upside down presentation of this one. Just look at this. Oh my god, Crazy. That's a that's a life hack. Really cool. Never seen that before. You're all doing it wrong. If you put the hook on the belly like uh, normal, you're doing it all wrong. No, for real, but but any kind of curly tail lure, if you fish it with a tail up like this, it goes more shallow and get usually gets more like swimming action like this. If you fish it with a tail down, it gets more steady and it dives down a little bit deeper. And it, that's a good tip with pretty much any any type of curly tail. Oh. Bam! <laughs> It, what a it did the job, this upside Whoa. down curly tail. We have the first one on curly. No way to go. There we go. Insane. <laughs> what a fun take, man. That take was sick. When these pikes decide to go for the bait, they really go for the bait. They really do. They sure do. Look at that. <laughs> Number one on the scoreboard for curly tail. Soft bait. You've been doing it wrong all day. We have for sure. That's the secret, folks. Rig it upside down. Yay! We're Love catching it. them. I don't know what I'm doing wrong today. Something Nothing. is wrong. Nothing. Just believe in yourself. <laughs> I promise you, you, you're gonna get your Shoulders chance. down. Just believe in what you're doing. Yeah, I am. You know, I'm gonna tell you a story. Uh huh. I, I have a friend of mine whose name is Mats. Mm -hmm. And often when you go fishing with mats, you know, sometimes he catch like one or two fish, but most of the time he always catch the biggest one and he catches way bigger than everybody <laughs> else in the boat. Yeah. Maybe I catch, you know, like 10 pikes and like three nice pikes or maybe five kilos, something like that. But in the end of the day, he gets that, you know, eight to nine kilo fish. He does something special which really he has the pike the aura, you know? Yeah, like, I, I think it has a lot to do with how you retrieve the lure. Like, 
I don't think it's just randomized if you get a big pike or a small pike and they're really big mammas. Sometimes they want something special. That's deep, man. That's deep. Amen. <laughs> I saw that one, it took like in the surface. Oh my god! The biggest up there, I think. Oh, well. Hey, I took a catch like right in the back and... Oh my god, finally! No. Oh, look at this! Here you go, sir, on that twin tail. On that twin tail. The twin tail and the pedal tail is oh, really crushing it. Oh my god, totally well ah, deserved so this one. Well deserved, I've Sarah. been struggling today, actually. It's been hard, but... But you have kept fighting. <laughs> and this one, it took like in the surface. Yeah, I saw side. it coming. It was super, super cool. Oh awesome. My God. That was the most well deserved pike I've seen in a long time. It was for sure. Oh, so beautiful. Look at this. Head first. Yes. Yeah. I'm so happy. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Super happy. Guys, this one is for you who are not allowed to fish. I took it's, one for the team. I, I took one for the team. <laughs> hope this can bring you some luck and hopefully you guys will soon be out fishing again. Yeah. Thanks to this beast twin tail. I freaking love it. But for sure. So much fun. But for sure, I think that this is the best lure type in this kind of yeah. water. Because, you know, like we said, the pedal tail has the maximum vibrations, but you can still fish this one so much slower. Super slow. And you know, when you make a spin stop, those tails are just rippling on the, on the rock yeah. a little bit. Yeah. And it covers. So it really stays when you, when you stop it yeah. for a little while yeah. before it it's it's super cool super cool yeah and it's red black color it's i like it really nice it's, yeah it's, i love it i'm so happy Boom. let's take some more let's take some more oh. Oh, it's the biggest of the day. <laughs> oh it's the god. biggest of the day. This freaking red and black. I can't believe it. Come over here, Sarah. I Take your fish. Oh, nice. I can't oh believe my god. it. Oh my god. I, oh my god. I cannot. Yeah, I, I mean, we're talking like I've been, not even five minutes after we released man, your last Man, bike. I've been struggling yeah. for this all day. <laughs> I've been saying it. You're building up to something epic. And it's epic. This one is Young actually a little, little bit nicer. It. And it's the, it's, the, it's the twin tail again. Twin tail again, it's man. Amazing. That's one taking the lead. I mean, this lure, I'm gonna love it forever. Yeah. It's a special one for me. Oh, what a nice fish. This is nice. It's nice. It's the fatty. Yeah, and the color, everything. <sighs> On a beautiful day like this, it's yeah. crazy. Oh my Nothing God. Nothing we can expect. I'm so thankful for this. Show me the back. Show me what, yeah. are, what you oh. got. What a nice oh, fish. Yeah. This is a nice pike. Nice and big pike. Oh my god. And first I thought it was grass, so I didn't make the hook set. But then I had like one more shot when it like when I felt like yeah this is a pike and then <laughs> it just strike. Nice. That's a nice awesome. pike. That's a nice pike. That's, That's a really nice pike. That's perfect. <laughs> They're aggressive. Super. <sighs> oh. All right, new hour. I'm going with this uh, coward twin tail. You're going with that motor yeah. oil big one. And I'm going one. with the red tiger, of course. Your new, new favorite color. Yeah, <laughs> I need to say goodbye to this one. Yeah. Though. Let's freaking do this. Super excited for the last hour. Oh, 
got one on the curl. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy to be us. Yes. And it's a it's a small female. Very nice on this red motor oil. I've caught two pikes over 10 kilo on the new Aube Beast Chad, and one of them was on the red motor oil color. It's very good when it's sunny, so that's why I picked it. Thanks for that. Working on that tail bait's number. Yeah. Got one. There you go. That was a very very nice take, and uh, I think this is a uh, this is also a beautiful pike. Out fishing some pike and they are biting. They are super funny. Yeah, we'll do a live stream on YouTube in one hour at four o'clock. So head over to YouTube and uh, we'll see you there. One hour, super fun. Live. Dobre. Dobre. Hola. Hola. Uh, Dobre. Well, what do we know? Privet. Privet. We thought it would be a good time to do it because we're out fishing. We, we know we know that many of you are not able to do so. So we feel it's our duty to share some of the goodness we're doing. Yeah, I feel um, really bad for you who cannot fish, but stay strong guys, because better times are coming. Which one do you think will win? Let us know, guys. Yeah. We won't yeah. spoil anything. Yeah. No, we won't spoil anything. yourself. But, but the well, pike well, are biting. One of these baits have it literally... Smashed yeah, the other. Yeah, it, it, it has cr like crushed the yeah. other mode. Which one do you think it is? Let us know. This was the best comment so far from... Oh, uh, Oh, oh, fish on, fish Sarah, on. big one, big one. <laughs> Good, Sarah. Oh my god, Sarah, you're smashing it. Look at that. One more for paddle tail lures. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh my god. The comment that I was, the comment I was talking about was from some guy. I need to find the, the name soon, but he, he was, he's watching this from the reception of the gym where he's working because there's no people there. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. Are we getting any comments? Are people yeah, yeah, people are like uh, crazy. <laughs> Woo. Whoa. Perfect. Pike Queen. Thank you guys so Thank much. You guys. Stay safe out there. Ciao. Ciao. All right, welcome back for Red Live Stream. Sarah, <laughs> one more. Point to paddle. One more for paddles. What's the what's the score now? I We're 14 care. pike now. All right, mine damen and herren, madame et messieurs, and all the rest of you. <laughs> the sun is going down and uh, the challenge is over. We have a result. We have a result. <laughs> Queen tail is the winner, which actually I thought in this morning, I really wanted to start with yeah, it. So I, yeah. I know I predicted this kind I, of. I was also super excited to try this to model because this it's, it's the one standing out the most from My other God. like normal lures on the market. Yeah, so you and, definitely uh, need one of these in your lure box for yeah. sure. I think it adds a lot to your tackle box. It does. It has, you know, the, the advantage of a curl tail, that slow moving action, you know, and on the spin stop, just let it sink and those tails like ripple really good mm -hmm. while it still makes a big impression, a lot of vibrations in the water. Super yeah. cool. So, Super cool. Yeah, cold water, murky water like we're having today, it seems to be really good stuff. Cool. And the most important thing, which one did catch the biggest pike? It was I mean, this one also, The biggest, right? the second biggest. And this is the fun part with these challenges. Of course, it's not 100% scientific, waterproof stuff. But 99? Yeah, 99, clearly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is like real science. You know, uh, we're thinking here. Yeah, yeah. No, but I mean, today it seems like it did better. Yeah. Next yeah. time Super it might cool. be different. Probably. And that's the fun part with these challenges. The discussion can go on forever. Yeah. To finish off, we thought that it would be fun to run a giveaway. Always. When this video gets 2,000 likes, we're going to give away three of these lures. Yes, yeah, so you can let us know in the comments which one you want and then we'll pick some of you. Yeah, which one of these three models you would like, where you would fish it, why you need one of those lures. But uh, yeah, that was it for today, yeah. I guess. Yeah. It's those... super cool to fish with you. It was the yeah. first time we're fishing together. I enjoyed it so much. Hope we'll do it again soon. Yeah, super I hope cool. so as well. You're always welcome, guys thank and you. girls. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, so... we're also very happy that we can finally announce that we have Obi Garcia products in our e-commerce. So you we can have... find them up here, all the lures and rods and reels and lines and pretty much everything. Yeah, it's super cool. Yeah, make sure to subscribe up here if you like what we do. And if you like this video, I think you will like this one and this one. Mm -hmm. But that was it for today. Thank you so much for today, yeah. guys. Ciao. See you.